This is a warning video for all Tracked users. If you're using Tracked with third-party streaming apps like TV Zion, Catmouse, Showbox, then after watching this video, make sure you change these settings because your activity may be exposed. Welcome back to the StreamDroid channel. Hope you guys are well. Now, firstly, if you're new around here, consider subscribing and don't forget to ring that bell icon to never miss a future upload. Now, if you caught my last video about TV Zion and how incredible it is, I also went through 20 minutes of how to set it up to get the most out of TV Zion. The update is just awesome. If you haven't checked it out, I'll leave it in a card and towards the end of this video in the outro. But this is all about Tracked. I talked about integrating Tracked into TV Zion and once it's integrated, it's just awesome. Tracked allows you to continue watching what you are watching. You can build lists, collections. It just makes streaming seamlessly across different apps that you guys might use. It also eliminates the need to search for the shows you're watching because it will show on your watched and your up next on tracked. However, if we go back to 2014, there was a bit of an instance where people were caught red handed using different streaming apps and also the content they're watching. And I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second. But I want to give a shout out to Slyer Fox. I hope that's how you say it. But they raised it to my attention and it's something that's definitely worth mentioning for all tracked users. Now there's one thing we need to mention about doing this. When you change this setting on tracked, you will no longer be able to see all your watch list or collections on apps like TV Zion. So that is the only downside. So if you want to make it secure, you can do that. But bear in mind, the apps won't be able to sync with your watch lists, which kind of defeats the object of using it. So again, it's completely up to you, but it's something I need to mention. Let's just get in and tell you what I'm talking about. Now on track, you'll see all the trending popular watched films. If we pick a random film, uh, let's say Avengers Endgame. Of course, you can add stuff to your list directly from this website, which is nice feature but if we scroll down it will show you who is watching it right now so their profiles are linked to what they are streaming but not only that if you look on at the top here you've got how many people have watched it how many times it's played and also the lists but if we click into the lists it will show you who has added this film to their lists and also the app they are using to add it to the list so you can see this guy has added it to the 4k releases this guy's added it to Marvel movies. Okay, it doesn't say the exact app, but you can see that this one's got a Zion logo and some of the lists that they set up also link it to the app. So I've seen some that's got Showbox 4K films, for instance. Pretty obvious what they're doing. But the worrying thing is if we click the username, you can go in to see what they last watch, how much they've watched, their favorite genres, and you can also have a look at their lists. And as you can see, they're clearly using TV Zion and it's got all the films that they have added to their lists. Quite worrying. And the problem with this is if I can go on this website and see what certain people are watching from what apps, I think you know where I'm going. It's going to be easy for other people to do the same. So when it comes to streaming, of course, all the YouTubers always tell you to use a VPN. That's not what this video is about. I want to show you how easy it is to stop people from tracking your activity and looking at your watch list and more importantly what films you have watched at home. It's really simple, it's one tick box and this is how you do it. So on the tracked website when you guys are logged in what you need to do is head on over to the icon at the top right which is linked to your profile and then head on down to settings. Now I'm going to grey all this out for you but all you will need to do is tick that private box and that will make your profile private, which means it can't be linked to you and what you are watching. But for this video, that's all we want to do. Scroll down to the bottom and then click save. And then, of course, test it's working by signing out of your account and head on over to your profile. And then when you load the page, you'll see it's now set to private. And if someone wants to follow me, I will then need to accept 
that follow. Of course, I don't need followers on Tracked. I don't know why anyone would, but doing that will make your account more secure, more private, and stop people seeing what you've watched and what you are collecting in terms of your watch list for future programs. And that's it. It's a very quick video, but I think it's super important to get that out because no doubt a lot of you using Tracked have not set your profiles to private and, and people have got caught red-handed with what they're doing in the past. It makes sense to do it now, so hopefully you guys will be a bit more secure knowing this little setting to change. And if it has helped you in any way, again, like I said at the start, it'd be great if you could subscribe because I post regular, if not daily videos like this relating to streaming. So consider subscribing, ring that bell icon. Let me know in the comments section if yours wasn't set to private. I'm intrigued to know how many of you guys didn't know about this and also help others out by sharing this video around. But that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't feel fucking